Hello everyone, welcome to Helpful Solution Tutorials and welcome to our comprehensive tutorial on Todoist, an incredible user-friendly and effective task management tool. So Todoist is perfect for anyone looking to organize their daily life from work task to personal events. It's celebrated for its simplicity and versatility allowing users to create, manage, and track tasks and projects with ease. In this guide, we're going to show you how to get started with Todoist, from setting up your account to creating your first task list. You'll learn how to categorize tasks, set deadlines, and use reminders to keep on top of your schedule. Whether you're juggling multiple projects, planning an event, or just trying to keep your daily tasks in check, Todoist offers the tool to help you stay organized and productive. So let's dive in and see how Todoist can help bring more order and efficiency to your everyday life. So as I said, we will go to the official website of Todoist.com and then here you see this sign in up button or the start for free button, you'll click on it. After clicking on it, it will take you to this page where you can sign up using your Google account, uh, Facebook account or Apple account too, or you can use your uh, name and your email address. Then you have to confirm the address to sign in. So I use my Google account. It is a fast way to do that. And I always sign up with my Google account. So uh, after that, you'll have to create your profile. So give a name to your profile and click on continue. After that, you answer some questions. So, so you answer the question and you're in your dashboard. So here we have uh, many features, but it is simple and the interface is user friendly. So as you can see, this is the overview of your dashboard. So you'll be able to see the task of today. So every day you log into your account, you'll see the task of the day. So here you have the view. So you have a list view, a board view. You can uh, sort it by grouping or by sorting. And here you can filter by uh, person uh, who assigned the task to you or you're assigning the task to. Now here you have your profile so you'll be able to see your profile you have to five tasks you can add you have the settings you can add the team and here you have your activity log. So here you have the print icon where you can print your task list you have the resources so a help center inspiration template integration, keyword shortcut, and many others. You have the rate and you can upgrade to a pro plan. Uh, here we have the search bar and here you can add a task. You have your inbox where you can see all the notifications and all the messages from your team or even from the platform. And here you have some um, cabin events and the filters and labels. Now here you have your projects. So you can add a project here and you can uh, see the homepage for each project. Now you can add the projects as I said above or below. You can edit the project, share it, and add it to favorite. And you can also duplicate it, for example, if uh, the project is uh, repetitive. Now, the first thing that we will do is to click on add a task. So when you click on add a task, they will ask you to uh, give the task a name. So you give it a name and a description. And then you add the date. So is it for today? Or you can schedule it for the next day. You add the priority of the task. So is it an important task? So it is a red flag. An orange flag is it uh, if it's a medium task. And a blue flag if it's like a, a low uh, importance uh, task. So here you have also reminders. So this is a pro feature. So you can add a reminder uh, to remind you of the task before it arrives. Now here, if we click on those three points, you can add a label, you can add the location of the task, and you can even add an extension. So here we add the task, click on add the task, and the task will be added to the list of your tasks. Now, since the task was not for today, you go and click on upcoming task. And just like that, you'll find the task that you added for this date. This is the task. So each day you can add many tasks. So for, for example, those are the tasks of today. And here you have the tasks of tomorrow and you can keep update uh, the task by day. So for example, you click on this icon right here, you'll be moving day by day. And now let's go back here. We can add the task directly from here for this date. So also you give it uh, a name, description, and you just click on add the task. It is added right here and that's it. 
Now, if we wanna click on our inbox, here is your inbox. So in your inbox, you'll be able to download additional free application and plugin. So like the slugs and other applications. And here you'll be receiving notifications or messages. So here, when you added the task, it is highlighted right here. So you can see the, uh, the task that you added. So technically you'll be able to see all the list of your tasks right here. So you can, for example, add also a section and in this section, you can add the task. It is the same. Also, you have the uh, views. So you have a list view and a board view. So this is the board view. It is like a board. So if you want to add a task or a section, let's uh, add a section and name it uh, S1. <coughs> so in this section, you'll be able to add tasks and, uh, you know, organize your tasks by section. So yeah, that's it. Now let's go back and click on uh, filters and labels. So here you have the filters and label. So you can add a filter to uh, look for your task. So for now we have a filter uh, about tasks that are assigned to you and tasks that have a high priority. Now you can add other filters. So here you have a filter assistant. You can create powerful filter using your latest AI. So click on try it. Now they will give you example. So you can add all tasks to you next week filter all non-recruiting tasks in the inbox or task due today. So this is your filters. Now you can add a filter for let's say, let's say for example, uh, important tasks. So it is the same as the priority and you click on send. And just like this, it will give you a name of the filter. Now uh, let's click again on this icon to add the filter on our own. So you give the name of the filter, for example, uh, let's name it F1, the query, you add the query, and here you can add a color for the filter and you can add it to favorite and click on add. The filter will be added to uh, your list. So now when you go back here, here is the filter. If you click on it, you can edit the query of the filter and you can filter examples. So uh, what we have also, so when you favorite a filter, it will be added to the list of your favorites. And here is your project. So if you wanna create a project, go and click on add a project. As we click on add the project, they will ask you to add a name of the project. So give it a name. <clears throat> and then here you can give the color for the project. So let's give it a sky blue color. And here it is in the workspace of your project. You can add it also to favorite. And you can see uh, the view for your project. Decide if it's a list view or a board view. Now click on add and your project will be added. It is right here and also it is added to your favorite because you decided to do that. Now we have our home page. So this is the first project where we have all the tasks and this is the second project. So that's it. Now, as I said, this is our profile. You'll be able to add up to five tasks, I think per day. You have the settings and you can add a team. So click on add a team if you wanna add a team. Give the uh, name of the team. So let's name it uh, T1 and you can invite members and that by adding their uh, email addresses. So you add the, the email address like this, dot com, and then you click on okay. Uh, sorry, let's go back right here on the team. You can invite members. So as I said, yeah, you can send the link uh, to the members and you can invite them by email. So you click on invite by email and you add their email addresses like this and uh, you add a comma to make a list of emails. And that's it. So here, as I said, you have advanced filters, you have subscription, you have the team, the sidebar, etc. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you on the next video.